local, national, global, 24-7, globalnews.ca. Uh, well, we have a special guest in studio with us this morning. You may recognize her, in fact, Judy Arnold from Professional Parenting Canada, joining us to talk about something near and dear to all of us, the challenges of parenting the digital generation. Judy, good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Uh, where do we begin? How about this? It's a different era, isn't it? And although that sounds straightforward and obvious, we'd better recognize that as we parent. We need to. We're not raising kids like we did in the 80s, and we don't have the same fashions. We don't have the same education. We shouldn't be using the same parenting because we're raising kids in a digital generation. And uh, there's so many challenges with that. I mean, uh, safety, uh, screen time, etc. I want to touch on them all. Why don't we start with safety? And as a parent, what, what should our responsibility be to making sure, without invading our children's privacy, that they're safe? Well, the key to online safety is in parenting. Um, what parents can do is build bridges with their kids, build relationships. We're moving from behavior modification tools to control kids in parenting to more communication-based tools in order to build that relationship. Because really, safe kids are connected kids. Okay, when you, when you, when you talk about that, I mean, it's such um, industry speak. Dumb it right down for me, if I could put it like that. If you're a parent watching right now and you say, what do I do to make sure my child's safe? What, what would you recommend? I'd say in one word for... Older kids is negotiation mm -hmm. because too often the biggest mistake parents make is they enforce rules by taking away computer time, cell phone time. Right. And what they're doing is they're shutting down their parent-child communication. Mm -hmm. And shutting down the kids' communication line shuts down theirs. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it isolates kids. They don't come to parents for help. Exactly. And that's the last thing you want to do. Is last your child thing. say, well, I was going to tell you about it, but, you know, you freak out. I didn't. I've heard this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do you do? <laughs> and I think I'm probably guilty, like you at home maybe. <laughs> Uh, have you ever freaked out on your child? Uh, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but you give them, do. you know, you give them a blast because you think they need it. Uh, so, what do you recommend with screen time? Where do you limit it? I mean, uh, what, how much is too much? It depends on the child, but if you notice your children are escaping ten hours a day into screens, you know that may be a red Clearly, flag that's for a you. Red flag, yeah. <laughs> but it depends on each household. Each child has different abilities to self-moderate so as a parent you have to kind of set those parameters for yourself uh, moderation is the key so if a child has a balanced life they have some family time social time school time those kinds of things they have a good mix right so maybe as parents we can back off a little if they're if they're quadrants of the, the, the other quadrants in their life are all lining up and they're doing well Maybe give them some dignity of risk, as they say. Absolutely. And game time and screen time is a big part of kids' life right now. And if they're basically good kids in every other area of their life, you know, they're bringing home good marks, they're seeing their friends. I tell parents, you know, maybe back off a bit. <laughs> well, then, Judy, you've made me feel better this morning. And maybe other, any other parent whose kid spends a lot of time gaming. Is, oh, There's doing, a lot of benefits. They're doing well in other areas. Always good yep. to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Judy Arnold, our guest. To learn more about Professional Parenting Canada, check under links in the news. Uh, we do have them on our website at globaltvcalgary.com. If you'd like more great parenting ideas, you can pick up a free copy of Calgary's Child magazine.